I appreciate that you feel you have the answers, but I, I would hope that you don't feel that we're all living in the midst of a messiah. I don't know whether you're a Stone Roses fan or not, but you know, <laughs> the, the approach that you've taken, I am the resurrection and I am the light, because I'm not going to listen to any other amendments from any other deputies. It's perverse. It's anti-democratic. I, I often wonder at this idea of a citizens' assembly, that we need a citizens' assembly to solve this, that, and the other problem. Well, we have a citizens' assembly. There are 160 ordinary people, and if you don't like me in Clare, anybody in Clare, you don't like me representing you, will run for election. Like, what is it about this single approach that we have, everybody thinks that they have an approach and that's correct and nobody else has an approach that's worth listening to, debating, or, or even acknowledging, even, even saying, well, do you know what, we can sit a week longer. I mean, it's not like any of us left the country in holidays last week, heaven forbid, do you know what I mean? I mean, we have time. Plenty of time. We're sitting here in this empty assembly, wasting taxpayers' money because we're not debating key issues. They're being rammed through. That's not democracy. That's not debate. And then if they're challenged in the courts, there'll be a presumption that they were debated in this house when, in fact, they weren't. 